This use of play is brought to you by Grab somebody and tell them hello It's Monday, October 5th, and time for the Barbados Today Afternoon Update. Thanks for joining us. I'm Fernella Wedderburn. Barbadians are clamoring for a reliable bus service. That's according to the most recent study commissioned by the Transport Authority. Chairman of the Authority, Abdul Pandor, told a meeting involving a minister responsible for the sector, Michael Lashley, and owners and operators of private service vehicles at the Combermere School yesterday that the study showed that commuters were not at all happy with the service being delivered by both the private and public transport system. He says it is for this reason that PSVs will be sharing the Sturgis, Edie Village and Martins Bay routes with the transport board buses come December 1 in the first phase of a pilot project. He says with this he hopes that the authority can also promote the use of public transportation more effectively. We want to see at some time where the traveling public would welcome the opportunity to leave their vehicles at home or in nearby areas and take the public transportation system. This is an ideal system and would obviously be down to the benefit of the traffic congestion and so on in Barbados. This means that it's our responsibility to craft a vision for the future of this important section of the economy, recognizing that public transportation is very important to the development of the economy and social status of Barbados. Minister Lashley told the audience that, that this integration will see PSVs having access to the transport board's terminals. It's a fact that the public they in the they're hearing noises in relation to standards exhibited by PSV operators. That is a fact. And of course the noises, they question the standard of behavior. Of course, we do not have the percentage of, of those persons who are exhibiting um, what we call substandard behavior. But it seems to be permeating the PSB um, operations. Young people in the Caribbean are being challenged to come up with ways in making the Caribbean single market and economy a full reality. It comes from Barbados' ambassador to CARICOM, Robert Bobby Morris, at the closing ceremony of the students engaging the CSME through field promotion program, which was attended by students from Antigua and Barbuda. He says all must be done to move the CSME process from its 71% level of compliance. And he also urged the youth not to get distracted by naysayers. And I urge you not to get caught up in the binary and dualistic frames you so often in discussing this human construct, which cannot be divorced from the past and the history of our region or our people. Don't get caught up in the dualism of those who will say that because we have not met all the deadlines or that we have not met all the targets that we have failed and that our project should be abandoned, nor should we be carried away by those who do not want to recognize that there are deficits in what we are doing, deficits in design, deficits in implementation, deficits at the national and deficits at the regional level. That binary approach to measuring success or failure in rigid terms runs against the grain of divinity as we do not attempt to measure the creator's fallibility by the widespread examples of failure and difference in mankind. The Barbados Postal Service is looking to replace its direct delivery service with centralized community mailbox. And the first such system was launched yesterday in Country View Estates in Lothar's Christchurch. Acting Postmaster General Nigel Cobham 
told a church service to mark the start of postal week at the Church of the Nazarene yesterday that the post office was facing a number of challenges by evolving technology, especially social media. When I was growing up, we used to write a lot of letters, uh, both locally and, and um, you know, friend files, friends, relatives, and scenes. But that all now is just going to be the social media. And the, the, the number of, um, of options are, on, on social media are, are, seem, seem to be increasing every year. But, where we have well, we've seen a, a decline in the volume of um, social mail, you've seen a corresponding increase in business mail. And we are now moving a lot of packages from person to order stuff on the internet, especially from China, Hong Kong, and Singapore. So that has sort of offset the, the loss of business that we you know, um, experience through the loss, um, through the slowing down of um, social, uh, social mail. A man was injured this morning in St. Philip following a two-vehicle collision. The man, who is said to be in his 30s, was taken for treatment by a private vehicle to the nearby polyclinic. After the car he was driving flipped and landed on the hood just outside a house in Matchville. There's regional and international news after this short break. news from our region now. Prime Minister Perry Christie says there were no lives lost in Long Island following the passage of Hurricane Joaquin last week. He made the announcement as recovery efforts get underway in the hurricane-battered country. More spec and speculation about loss of life on Long Island. I've spoken with the Commissioner of Police who has been moving around these islands himself and he indicated to me a few minutes ago that that rumor is not true. He said there has been one death which is not connected to the hurricane itself. We know the name of the person who died. We know where he was living on Long Island. The rumor seems to have emanated from eight persons who moved from their residence to safer premises or a safer location. Those persons, I'm advised by the commissioner, have been found. And therefore, when you heard about eight people dying, that is absolutely not true. Meantime, the southern parts of Long Island were hardest hit by the hurricane, which knocked out electricity and phone services, as well as rendered roads impassable. Prime Minister Christie says restoring the infrastructure will be costly, but all the resources needed will be provided. The infrastructure is going to be extraordinary in terms of costs to the central government. Um, the devastation is not just to people's private property, houses, and where we're going to have to find a formula to render assistance, but the infrastructure has been severely damaged, and that goes into millions of dollars when you add the sum total up. And that's why the assessment is very important. On the international scene, at least six deaths are being blamed on a severe flooding in South Carolina. More than 13 inches of rain have drenched the city of Charleston in the last three days, leading to, the shutdown, leading to a shutdown of schools and several interstate highways. More in this report from the BBC. After days of heavy rain pelting South Carolina, flooding in the streets of Columbia and Charleston has reached dangerous levels. 
In the capital, buildings and roads have been damaged and drinking water is under threat because of possible contamination at a treatment plant. On Saturday, President Obama declared a state of emergency, while the governor insisted residents should stay indoors. When you think about what we're sitting in right now, um, we are at a thousand-year level um, of rain in parts of the low country. What does that mean? We haven't seen this level of rain in the low country in a thousand years. That's how big this is. That's how um, South Carolina is, what South Carolina is dealing with right now. The Congaree River is at its highest level since 1936. Roads have been closed and schools and universities have cancelled Monday classes. Some residents have been using kayaks and boats or wading through the water. And that's news, but for more, log on to www.barbadistoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper, our email updates, and like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you, as well as Channel 101 on Flow TV and Mix 96.9 FM for all the latest news and sports. I'm Frenella Wedderburn. Do join us again this evening for another update.